organization is serving anyone in our community that has a barrier to employment. They do wonderful things. They've got a new project coming up. It involves employment training for individuals with disabilities. Lindsay and Tony are here to tell us all about it. So tell us about this program designed for individuals with disabilities. You got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's going to take it? <laughs> Well, we've decided to create a career academy for individuals with disabilities. Um, the only thing that they need is a desire to work and the ability to communicate with other people. Um, so the program will take them through how to get a job. Um, how do I interview? How do I create a resume? Uh, once I do all of that, how do I keep the job that I have? So some soft skills for employment. Um, how do I interact with people? What does a break look like? What does that mean? Things like that. Those are really important things that we sometimes don't think about people needing to learn, but they do need to learn, and you can break it down to whatever level right. they need, which is very important. So how long is this program going to last? It's a three-week program, uh, Monday through Friday from 9 to noon each day for three weeks. Go ahead, Tony. So we're actually adapting a, a training that we've been in operation with for the last 13 years. Mm -hmm. So we've been serving adults from other segments of our community and we've been doing very well. We were actually kind of sucked into this disability world saying, hey, there are p people with intellectual disabilities sure. that are higher functioning and they want to work in the community, but right now they're probably sitting at home saying, you know what, I want to be working too. I, I may have autism or I have Down syndrome and I want to be a viable candidate to this, uh, to, to this community. Uh, uh, not, not only through employment, but Lindsay has many, many, many years of uh, working in the special ed world, uh, as well as, as cultivating employment for people who have uh, intellectual disability and cognitive disability. So we have a best practice, and we're making it better with Lindsay. And so she's taking people who normally aren't working, who don't have a high school diploma, and they got a certificate of completion, mm -hmm. for example. They're 23 years of age, and they're like, what now? I don't have a diploma. I don't have a job. I don't know what to do next. She's taking them through this training, and then we make placements through our staffing services and in-house for them to be able to get jobs. This is a win-win, not yes. only for the people who are going to work, but for employers in our community mm -hmm. that are looking for people to fill jobs. Yes. Right. What if somebody is, you said you use your staffing, um, services mm -hmm. and your if there's an employer watching today and says I I would be interested in mm -hmm. that can they call you absolutely yes they should definitely call us um, the nice thing about it is not only do they get an employee they also get our services and helping with accommodations and helping that person on the job site once they hire them it's it's perfect mm -hmm. now if somebody is interested they they start in October yes and but it's not just going to be in October right no we will hold a class every month so you're going to keep doing this. If somebody is interested in this and they're wondering, I don't know if I would qualify. I don't mm -hmm. know if I, maybe I don't know if I do have the skills mm -hmm. or maybe I am overqualified for this. How do they find out? They should come in and talk to us. So we have an application process. I'll sit down with them. We'll go through that. We'll talk about the qualifications, what the course is like, um, and then a little bit about their skills. And then we'll decide where they fit in the program. And if somebody's at home thinking, well, this doesn't serve me necessarily, but I, Blue Jacket sounds really interesting mm -hmm. to me, whether that's because I'd like to help them. Right. You always take help, won't you? Oh, <laughs> absolutely. I need a lot of help, too. Well, I was going to talk to you. Um, or maybe I might be interested in some of the other programs. Um, mm -hmm. Your website is really a great place to go for mm -hmm. a resource, as a resource guide, right? Yes, at bluejacketinc.org, you can learn a lot more. We're on Facebook. Um, we're on South Calhoun Street, so we have a lot of walk-ins that find out a little bit about our program. Our staff will meet you at the door and tell you all about our service within a half an hour's time. And anyone with a barrier to employment goes through our program. So if you feel like you're too old or too young, too experienced, too inexperienced, perhaps you have a criminal background, or perhaps you're emerging out of homelessness, uh, all of those are barriers to employment that make you a less desirable candidate to an employer because they say, this is a risk for me to hire you. We're taking that risk out. We're saying we're going to vet them and train them, and then we're going to put them on our payroll and send them to your company, and you're going to pay them well, and they're going to become imbued with a very loyal 
employee and you're right it is a win-win situation because employers now in this market are looking mm -hmm. are needing to look outside of the box to hire and that's what Lindsay's uh, uh, giving them the capacity to be able to do look outside the box so we have many people who are wanting to prove their worth and they come through Blue Jacket so call us Absolutely. Give them a call today, whether you're interested in this new program or any program, or just stop in on South Calhoun Street. We'll be right back.